Hi guys, I'm back with the best tactics in the FN24 series where we go searching for the best tactics. You send me your tactics. The tactic we're testing today is from GYR. It's another great tactic from GYR. All these details will be in the description below. Please go show them some love. It's called Falcon. It's a 4 I do love a 4 or My favorite formations, 4 triple 2 4 one 4 one 4 4 2 and a 4 2 4 I'm not too keen on a 4 2 3 one I don't know, it's just I'm not too keen on that formation. Even though it works really well on FM, those other ones are my favorite. And a 4 triple 2, like I say, it's one of my favorite formations. And it's definitely a tactic I would definitely try out. If you want to download it, like I said, a link for this will be in the description below. And if you can't download it for any reason, I will run over at the end of the video. We test it with three teams, Main City, Brighton and Luton. If that all sounds good with you, please leave a like on this video because it helps to be seen by more people. And subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video from me because we've got so many more tactics coming your way. On your screen now is Main City's best level of restrictions. And I don't know if you can tell, but they put Bernardo Silva at left back, which for me sounds crazy. Let's just hope he doesn't play left back. I'm sure he won't, but when I pick best level of restrictions, left back, Bernardo Silva, he can play there, so it says, but we don't want him to play there. Right. Enough talking, let's check out the results. So here we go then, starting with the Community Shield where we lost this 2-0 against Arsenal, but we did pick up the Carabao Cup against Manchester United 2-1 in the final. But in the FA Cup, it's a different story. We got knocked out in the third round here. Tottenham are very good in FM, and we lost here 3-1. We did pick up the Super Cup though, beating Sevilla. It did take extra time, 2-1. On to the Champions League now where we topped our group, and we didn't lose a single game in the group stages. We won five. Drew won, we finished with 16 points. Seven points clear of Inter. Then in the knockout rounds, we beat Real Madrid in the round of 16. What a tough tie. Borussia Dortmund, RB Leipzig. Then in the final, Atletico Madrid. And this was a very entertaining game. They did have someone sent off though. <laughs> we beat them. Took extra time, we beat them 5-4. On to the Premier League now, where we are champions. We won 26, we drew five, we lost seven. We scored 100 goals, which is a lot. Casida 36, we got a goal difference of 64, very good. And a points tally of 83 is a little bit lower than we would like, but it's not bad. So when we check out their player stats, Harlan, top goal scorer of 52 goals. Doku, having a good season with 20 goals. Uh, Phil Foden with 18. Kevin De Bruyne is down there with 12 goals. Assists, what do we have? Kevin De Bruyne with 24. Carl Walker with 20. Rico Lewis with 13, having a few games. The best performer is Harlan with a 7.71. And clean sheets, we've got 18. So let's check out their team stats now. Most points per game are 2.18. Most goals, we did score the most goals, 100 goals, 19 more than Liverpool in the league. Most shots for, we're top here with 742. Fewer shots against, second place here, 284. Most possession, joint fifth place here with 56%. Most dribbles made, we're not on there. I knew that. Most clean sheets, <laughs> we're in. Fourth place here, or joint fourth place with 13 clean sheets. Bournemouth doing very well. And fewest conceded. Second place here, conceding 36 for the season. Uh, not a bad. 83 points, not bad. Uh, we do, like I said, like to get to 90 points. We won the Champions League, though. Won the Super Cup, Carabao Cup. It's the same about the FA Cup and the Community Shield. But like I said, it's not a bad start. We've got two more teams to go. So let's check out the results. So here we go, on to Brighton's results. And in the Carabao Cup, we lost in the quarterfinal here against Leicester, a very good championship team, 5-2. And in the FA Cup, we got knocked out again in the third round, this time against Newcastle, 3-0. So on to their Europa League now, and hopefully we can pick something up in Europe like Main City did. We won four, we lost two. We finished with 12 points in the group stages. And then in the knockout rounds, we lost in the round of 16. Four all away from home, and we lost 4-3 at home. 8-7 on aggregate. And in the Premier League, we finished in 8th place here. We won 17, we drew 5, we lost 16, we scored 70 goals, but we conceded 72. We got a goal difference of minus 2, and a points tally of 56. On to their player stats, where Evan Ferguson, 19 starts, 20 goals, which is amazing. Fatty was 16, uh, Pedro 12. Assists, what do we have? Gross with 14, Fatty with 12. Average ratings wise, the best performer for them is Ferguson with a 7.29. And clean sheets, what do we have? We've got six. So let's check out their team stats where most points a game, eighth place here are 1.47. Most goals, seventh place here was 70. 
And uh, most shots for fifth place here with 515. We're on most possession, eighth place here with 54%. So it's a bit of a possession based tactic. And most tackles won, we're in sixth place here with 897. And that is your lot. 56 points with Brighton is okay as well. It's not too bad. We've seen a lot worse with Brighton. Brighton are one of those teams where you don't know what you're going to get. It could be good or it could be bad. And this is okay. So we're on to our final team, Luton. And in the Carabao Cup, we got knocked out in the third round here. It's Man City though. And we lost 2-0. And in the FA Cup, well, we got further than Main City and Brighton because we got to the fifth round here, but we lost an extra time against Leeds 2-1. But in the league, Luton have done amazing. We finished in eighth spot. Uh, we won 17, drew eight, lost 13, scored 66 goals, but we did concede 68. We got a minus two goal difference and a points tally. Better than Brighton, we got 59. So on to their player stats. Their top goal scorer is Brown with 17 goals, Morris with 13. Assists are coming from Chong with 10. 10 goals, 10 assists, not bad at all. Bell with 7 assists. Uh, their best performer is Morris with 13 goals, 7 assists, and an average rating of a 7.11 with Chong as well. 7.11. Very good from them too. Clean sheets, we've got 9. On to their team stats. Most points per game. We're in 8th place here with a 1.55. Most goals, joint 7th place here with 66. Most shots, 4. We are top. We are top here with 544 and most tackles won seventh place here, 896. Those are the only lists that were on with Luton. I think this has done very well. Goal difference again is, is not great, but 59 points with Luton is very good. Now, let me up the points and see where it comes in our tatter testing league. GYR's Falcon for FM24 creeps onto the leaderboard and 19th spot at 160. Drew 18, lost 36, goals for 236, goals against 176. We got a goal to 60. It won four trophies and a points tally of 198. If you need the instructions, could you play on console? Please carry on watching the video. But if you're leaving me here, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to leave the like. But like I said, if you need the instructions, carry on watching the video because I'm about to run over them. So in goal, we got a sweeper keeper on support. Then on the left-hand side, we've got a wing-back on support. On the right-hand side, though, we've got a wing-back attack. We've got a ball-playing defender on defend. Alongside another ball-playing defender on defend. Different instructions. One's got to stay wider on. Then in front of them, we've got a defensive midfielder on support on the right-hand side. Then we've got a Segundo Volante on support. In front of them, we've got an advanced playmaker on attack. To the right of him, we've got attacking midfielder support. We've got a pressing forward attack alongside advanced forward attack up front. Tactical style is called Falcon. Just copy everything here, and that is the tactical style. Mentality attacking in possession. What do we have? Attacking width fairly wide. Approach play, passing the space. Play out defense. Passing out is shorter. Tempo higher. Time wasting never. Low crosses. And in transition, we've got a counter press, counter to speak to full backs take short kicks out of possession we got a mid block line of engagement a higher defensive line trigger press much more often prevent short goal distribution get stuck in and that is a lot like i said earlier please gwar's details are in the description below please go show them some love because i'd much appreciate that thank you so much for watching this video you can leave a like and do all the good stuff that would be amazing and i will see you guys in the next video another tactic testing video maybe of course it's going to be.